at this mess. What is up guys and welcome back to today's video. We have another Skyline update for you guys and this is probably gonna be the last one before you guys see this go on to wiring. So we're finishing up a couple of things. We're gonna be making the dash for the AEM CD7 screen today as well as I'm putting in this brand new doubled in center console display for an R32 by Muse Japan. I wanna give a huge thank you to them. They actually sell these if you guys wanna do a doubled in. It's very, very nice, really, really high quality ABS plus plastic made in Japan. I actually got this from Nismo Parts Plug as well as the Skyline Source. So I know a lot of you guys actually have an R32 as well, whether it's a GTST or a GTR. If you guys need a double din display or really I'm using this for a switch panel display. If you guys need this, I'm gonna go ahead and link Nismo Parts Plug down below as well as Muse Japan. What I'm currently doing right now is removing all of this because we are no longer gonna have a radio. We don't have any more AC and I don't need any of these gauges anymore. So all of this is going away and I'm fitting this up because we are actually gonna get, I think we're gonna do a piece of carbon fiber and we're gonna be cutting it and making it to this so that we can actually add a kill switch, my uh, fuel pump primer, all all of that stuff we have a switch panel right here and it's gonna be really really nice so I'm gonna show you guys this in just a second but we were also finishing up a bunch of our oil and water lines and we have a special guest here today Brendan what's up brother you guys Hello. have seen Brendan in the videos before he actually owns a company called Dime Brendan do you want to give us like a quick rundown of like what Dime is want to show us the product because for anybody that's building a car this is one of the coolest things that I, and I'm not just saying that because Brendan's a good friend of mine but it's seriously this is one of the coolest things that's come out recently so we have a kit where we have analogs of all of our fittings in them and analogs of the hose so these fittings just clip on like this with a dial you can, you can orient them so they're different angles to each other so yeah basically you're you're creating a line without yeah. having lines so you can so get an one, exact there's, measurement yeah there's one here on your car yeah so you guys can see what is this the oil line right here this is the remote oil filter yeah down the here. all the way down there so we're just measuring this and like within like two minutes we mocked it up got it perfect so it doesn't like, rub or hitting anything yeah and then you'll get a line I make exactly this prototype. Normally you would upload this on the on our site and then we would we would make it to that work order um, and then you'll get it by today if you wanted That's it today. That's freaking sick. So basically there's no more wasting line or trying to figure anything out because this kit that he gives you comes with all these links so that you can actually create this line and you upload it to his site and he makes the line for you and sends it to you and it's an exact fit so there's no guessing no mistakes nothing it's yeah. awesome so you, you get the parts quicker you'll save money it's less stress and, and we test everything to you know, the pressure standards we clean everything so you don't have any dirt or leaks that's um, these are these dash 10s will burst at around like 6,000 psi so <laughs> way way higher than what you're going to see yeah so we literally just did everything that we needed to do to finalize the rb26 and we're good to go on the lines now. So currently, like I said, I'm gonna be taking out the gauges, the AC, and the head unit so that we can go ahead and fit this up. And we do have a piece of steel that I'm gonna mock up right here as well to maybe do some steel. I haven't really decided what we're gonna do yet, but I wanna see how it fits along with everything right here to see what we can actually do. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of these screws and take all the stuff out, which should be good. We got the gauges out and we also got the AC and the radio out in which I'm thinking that we're actually gonna use this radio in the 33 because the 33 does not have a head unit and we need one and this one worked really well in my 32. So since we can no longer use it, we're gonna put this in the 33. So set that right down there. We have the gauge pod right here. Now we can actually use the Muse doubled in display right here. Let's actually go ahead and see how she looks. Boom, actually looks really nicely. You can still use, you can still use your little coin holder thing if you wanted to, and your cigarette lighter right here, which is super cool, but we're gonna keep it out of here for now. But we can actually go ahead and measure this now and see how big of a sheet of carbon fiber that we're gonna need, or if we even wanna use the steel, we could do the steel. But this is where our switch panel is gonna be, and it's gonna look really, really good. Now, update number two for today. We have Grandmaster Tim here. As you guys know, we wanted to fit up the AEM CD7 screen into the dash of the 32. Tim got a sheet of steel and he's actually building out a custom layout of the R32 cluster so that this will actually fit the screen. Now he's gonna go ahead and cut it out and we'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all cut out and then we'll put it Quick inter 
entire mission in today's video. I'm sure you guys know, but if you don't, this is Bucky Lassick's car, and this thing is freaking sick. Bucky stopped by the shop today to come check out the garage, check out some of the cars, and we're gonna get a quick ride in his Subaru. This thing is absolutely insane. Talk about, like, a dream holy grail Subaru build, and this is it. This thing is absolutely sick. So we're gonna have him talk about it a little bit so you guys can check this thing out. It's just, it's so cool. Hey, what's up, brother? And so it's been a couple years since we've been with Bucky. If you guys were watching around, when, when did we last see each other? Like 2018, was it? Last time I saw you was basically when I was trying to sell my 2016 STI. Yeah. Bucky, you wanna actually, before we go for a ride, should we talk about it a little bit real fast? Yeah, yeah. Give uh, me the, give me the. You're in the interior, so we might as well talk about that. Yeah. Um, so I have Recaro Sportster GT seats, uh, auto power roll bar, it's bolted in, eventually it'll be welded. Uh, I worked with six over crest to make these uh, door deletes and rear seat deletes, suede ceiling, Dude, suede this thing dash, is just so nice. SCI wow. handbrake uh, that's spliced into the rear brakes. I don't have separate calipers. I'm not running the drift program. I just need to lock them up <laughs> when I need to lock them up. 05 wheel, um, six over crest floor pans. Oh, on top of the carpet, I thought that was a nice special detail. Yeah, this is freaking beautiful, Bucky. I like, had iWire do my wiring harness. They helped me do my window switches relocated to my center console. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the outside. Let's do it. Uh, aluminum hood, six over crest hood scoop, Moret headlights, which are really hard to come by. The kit is a 60 millimeter WRC ABW motorsports kit. The motor is a Rally spec, short block with uh, Metro Performance, did the heads, uh, Grim Speed top mount, FP Green turbo, Cobb intake, Cobb whole exhaust except for Killer B headers, Coil Rad radiator, uh, Cobb Flex Fuel, KW suspension. Oh, very nice. Uh, we have 1552 chicanes wheels wrapped in Yokohama tires. So basically and what you're telling us here, Bucky, is that this thing rips. I don't know, you tell me, let's <laughs> go for a ride. <laughs> oh man, also, but for, for any of you that out of this world would not know who Bucky is, Bucky, why don't you give us a little rundown of like- You can make me talk about myself? Yes, talk about yourself, uh, I'm this a professional exciting. skateboarder. I just so happen to be kind of okay of a driver. <laughs> I drove for Subaru for four years in rally and stage rally. And I'm also doing a full season ARA this year in stage rally with uh, Rally Ready. Yeah, aside from that, I'm, I like to have fun. That is just so cool, Bucky. Okay, okay, let's go for a ride. Dude, this thing is so sick. One of the raddest things about this is the fact that it's not super low. Yeah. So like, when I went and got coffee today, I had, I had no problems getting out the driveway. Yeah. No angle. Must be nice. That's a feeling that I don't know about. <laughs> you don't know. I mean, you know, stance is cool, but you can't drive fast. Oh my god, this is this is the dream. This is freaking sick, Bucky. You have freeway entrance. I want you to. It's like, it's like, it's not too sketchy, it's just the right amount of sketchy to where it's fun. Yeah, the power weight ratio is basically what this car banks off of, the all-wheel drive, uh, the nimbleness. Yeah. Spot on, it's yeah. like perfect. When Absolutely. all the axles are connected. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so Bucky said this thing is what, about 420 it's horsepower? A, it's a little over 420 to the wheels. Uh, That's like perfect power range. 29, 29, eight, yeah. And weight, so just under 3,000. So this is what fourth gear, 40, about 4,000 RPMs. Okay. So the coolest thing about this too 
too. You guys don't know. Right, we're, we're coming back to the United States here. Yes, we were in Mexico, crossing the border now. It's um, pretty easy to cross the border these days. It's right. just an exit or two. <laughs> So if you guys don't know, Bucky actually has his own YouTube channel where you can go, you can actually watch the entire build of this car, which is insane. It's so cool. 10 out of 10 approval right here. This Thanks. thing was freaking sick, dude. <laughs> Now, back to our regular scheduled program. Tim, do you want to give us a little rundown on what we got going on here? Well, I cut all the pieces out. I actually made this pretty smooth so you don't cut yourself. Nice. Uh, but now I am pretty much forming it. So I'm doing that and then I'm going to cut this piece. And then I'm going to tack that, tack that there and just start bending it around like this. That's going to be super sick and that'll basically be our center console dash piece. And then I'll just have to add two tabs at the bottom. And I'll add the two tabs right here, and that's what will connect it inside the car. That's for Tim. First mock-up, Tim, dude, that looks freaking sick, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to get it screwed in right now, and once I get it screwed in, then I'll start working on the uh, the screen the screen itself. Look at this, guys. That's gonna be so sick. So obviously, we're not gonna leave it raw. We are gonna get it finished, probably in black, but that is freaking beautiful, dude. Especially when we get the screen in there, it's gonna look perfect. First try, got the holes and everything perfect. The holder, the cluster holder is now completely in, and it fits with the OEM plastics. Go well, ahead and throw it. Hopefully, I haven't tried it yet, so. Okay. Oh, this is the first try. First try. <laughs> this is the first Moment try. of truth. With the metal. Boom. Oh my God, dude. That is freaking sick, so. Fits perfectly. Tim. And now the screen will go in there and. We'll Look at that, dude. Go. Move your hand real fast. Holy crap, Tim. That is freaking sick. Obviously, we gotta like push her back in, but. That is freaking awesome, dude. And that holds Test her up with the screen. I I'm just putting it in backwards, yeah. so you can see that it it's in the hole. Boom. Oh Perfect. my gosh, dude. That's gonna look awesome. So now, now that everything fits, now that I can make the screen work inside of it. So day number two. Tim has absolutely knocked this out of the park. So, Tim, want to explain what we got going on here? Well, I've tried a couple ways to fit it in, but I wanted to fit the CD7 screen in. So we put it in and then it wasn't flush and then I tried to fit it, didn't work. So I made it flush and just used full custom bracket. We're gonna go ahead and test this guy inside the car. We just cut out some of the plastics in the car to make sure that this thing sits perfectly. So Tim, you wanna do the honors and test fit her? Yeah, let's get her in there. All right, Tim, bro. Moment of truth here. I think cutting all that plastic stuff will help a lot. Yeah, it actually, I think it did. Let's get her past that point right there. Boom. Holy crap. Yeah, it fits it fit way. Dude, look at that. Oh my Let's God, Let's get her Tim. screwed in there and then put that plastic piece on. See what you it like. built that from scratch, Tim. That's freaking sick, man. All right, so now that we have the actual display holder in, we're gonna go ahead and put the plastics in to see what it looks like with the plastics and make sure everything sits perfectly. Oh. Dude, look at the lights. It's perfect. Oh wow, it's a lot better than it was. It's way better Why than what it was. Going out All right guys, look at this. That is just freaking awesome. 
So the CD7 screen is now in. Now, obviously we're gonna get this thing painted. I cannot wait until we can actually have power to this. We start it up yeah. and see that for the first time. But the screen is in, it's absolutely perfect. We still have to make a custom piece for this, but that is a huge, huge step in the right direction there, Tim. Yeah, it is. It looks insane. I'm you proud of it. myself on that one. You killed it. That is badass, dude. And I love how flush it is as well. Yeah. Like super flush, the same size as OEM, so it like just fits perfectly in there. Wow, like couldn't have asked for anything better. That's Tim Speck, baby. All right, so now that we have the R32 done, that thing is going to DNA very soon to start the wiring. And I thought, I thought we'd give you guys a little WX update. A lot of you guys have been asking for this. And Tim's car is officially heading over to Delicious Tuning so that we can get this thing tuned. And Tim can finally rip on this thing and actually take it to car meets and stuff with me now. It'll actually be drivable. If you guys haven't watched the build series on this, I highly suggest that you do so. We have done so many awesome modifications of this car, and I think it's going to be the perfect daily driver for Tim. So it's going to be awesome. All right, let's head on.